Praise be Jesus and Mary. No, for him. Today we celebrate St. Henry, who was <coughs> first king in Germany. He was from Bavaria. We are talking at the beginning of the first millennium. He died in 1024. But he also became Roman Emperor, Holy Roman Emperor, and lived and reigned and ministered his, his realm, always seeking not what is not the earthly but the heavenly. In fact, he restored several dioceses and archdioceses in Germany and added more. He sought only the heavenly and thus was very much supported by the Pope. A shining example of one who, though royalty and one of the highest positions in the world at that time, Holy Roman Emperor, but yet lived solely for God, in union with God always, and sought that for his people, a very deep, deep faith. that faith that our Lord speaks of here in the gospel passage we just heard. He praises the Father for not for having revealed the heavenly through himself, through his Son. No one knows the Son, he says, except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son in whom he chooses to reveal him. Well, he chooses to reveal, him, reveal the Father to all of us who will accept that will accept him, who will proclaim with Peter, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, the Father, the Son of the living God. A very deep faith. You know what our Lord says here, you have revealed them, that is the hidden things, the heavenly things, to the childlike, those who are innocent, those who are humble. That was Henry, King Henry. Although of nobility, of nobility, royalty, emperor, yet always humble, submissive completely to the will of God and the will of the church. And thus, he became the saint he is today. Let us then seek always that deep faith, that deep love for God, that submission to his will in all things no matter what our state. And we will, it, we will understand even better the heavenly things that Christ chooses to reveal to us even now. If we will accept it and embrace it, that is, embrace Him and the Heavenly Father. Praise be Jesus and Mary.